Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 18 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to create color swatches so that we can have a color palette um, so that we can design uh, only by using those colors for quick access of colors basically. So whenever I draw a shape, in the previous lessons what we had is this is actually a pattern, we'll talk about that in later lessons. And over here you can see that there's no colors right now. So usually what we tend to do is we tend to stick to a particular uh, set of colors for the overall design so that the design looks consistent. For example, if we use red, then we use the same variant of red and none other so that the red looks consistent in the overall design. So if you want to uh, create a swatch, what you can do is you can click on this icon right here or you can go to windows and then go to swatches. So once you access the swatches, what you can do is you can access the preset swatches library, which is located right over here. So over here, you can see that there are a bunch of different uh, swatches uh, variant over here. For example, there's food, fruits, and you can see that once I do that, you get a set of colors for fruits. So if I were to select this now, uh, then this uh, color is actually applied. So you can see that I have foods, uh, I can actually create other swatches over here. So let's say for example, nature flowers, so that brings up the flower colors and so forth. But usually what I want to do is I just want to have a set of three, four colors that I want to work back and forth in. So for that, you have to go to swatches. And usually you have a lot of colors lying around over here. So for example, if you want to create uh, if you want to delete the swatches, just click on the particular color and press the delete key and that will delete the swatches. Or you can click and shift hold all of them to delete them as well. So once you do that, you get this blank swatch panel right here. So once you do that, what you want to do is you want to create a bunch of colors. So in order to create a new color in the swatches, what you simply do is uh, you select a color. So let's uh, go to the color over here. Is created and once we choose a color you actually get this new layer like icon over here that stands for new swatch and once you click that and press ok you can see that the swatch is there so similarly i'll select another color over here such as green press ok and new and there you go i have my other swatch and if i were to select blue over here press ok create new press ok there you go a blue swatch and similarly uh once i do a yellow okay so press yellow press ok new and there you go we have a yellow swatch so that's how i can switch back and forth between swatches and the color so whenever i drag something else what i can do is i can simply select other swatch over here and there you go that just applies the color over to it so i can draw an ellipse and then I'll just select the swatches that i want to use so you can also do this with gradients so if i were to select gradient over here let me go to swatch create new and press OK, you can see that it actually creates a gradient swatch as well. So I can add in gradients over there as well. I can add in colors as well. So similarly, I can create uh, the swatches. I can also save this swatches as here. So I can just go to save swatches and I can say custom over here. So I'm just going to save it as custom. And there you go, it actually saved the swatches. So you can go to user defined swatches now and go to custom swatch, uh, which I recently created. So this is how you can create a sources library inside of Adobe Illustrator. Hope you guys something uh, learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.